Hello everyone, welcome to the channel. This is uh, Wyatt from Role Playing Labs, and today we're gonna be playing CK3 with the Elder Kings 2 mod, and I got a I got a bunch on here too to make it a little more interesting. This here is gonna be our homeboy for the playthrough. Uh, he is gonna be playing as an immortal genius. I did you know 400 points, just not enough in Elder Kings 2, if you know what I mean. So this man is honest, temperate, immortal. He's an apprentice magician. You know, the Dragonborn's good at everything, man. He's got the Dragonborn trait. He's got Battle Mage. He's going to be like a Spell Sword sort of build. He's got Herculean. The man is... He's going to be good. I've already done a lot of the stuff ahead of time. I've already sent out a proposal for his wife. Um, I already chose his uh, deity. And his deity is going to be Alduin. So the reason I chose that is just because the Natural Dread. We got the Prestige per month. We got the Piety. And which, if we notice here, the immortal trait does kind of hurt us really hard on like monthly piety and prestige. Uh, so stuff like that, we're just kind of we're just kind of cruising through here. You're gonna try to make it, you know, as good as possible with our homeboy John of Riverwood. I, I imagine our first move of action here will probably be either ally with White Run because we don't want to get destroyed because our military strength. <laughs> It ain't too hot, so uh, we we uh, we're hanging on for dear life here in Riverwood. About to send to the Arl for, for some reinforcements against the dragons, as they say. Um, but I think what we're gonna do here is we're gonna wait for our wife to, to marry us. Great. Oh yeah. So I got a mod here that allows us to do like uh, wedding celebrations, stuff like that. So, we'll do... You know, we gotta go big. It's for the Dragonborn, after all, man. So, we're just gonna be clicking through here, getting through a lot of these, you know. We never give away hooks. Man, Matt, just, just don't mess with me, bro. But hey, we got high enough stewardship skill that we can do this. It greatly increases the quality. We'll take it. So, what we gotta do here, cool. Man's got butterflies. We're here at the chapel. Start playing them bells. Ooh, Hunter Prestige. All right. Yeah, yeah, man. Hurry up. Let's just get this over with. Awesome. X out of this. Got a few more dialogues. Dope. Yeah, we'll make everyone pay for it because we can't afford the other option. Yeah, we're going to take a little bit. Well. Ah, uh, yeah, whatever. We can we can lose a little bit of compatibility there. That is not the end of the world. Get this interesting conversation, or ah, uh, let's just get this improved compatibility. So one of the mods I also have here is Ooh, 21 prowess. Absolutely. He's in thank you. I also have a bunch of empty seats here. Um, we'll appoint him to Marshall. When you start one of these really small areas, for some reason, you just don't you just don't get very many uh, courtiers. So just kind of literally recruit anyone who will who will join me. get these positions filled out we're not looking good but overall though we're not bad we're not bad what we're gonna do here oh yeah I was talking about a mod that I had that adds more men at arms currently I don't think I have any here that aren't just part of the base game but when you get certain traits and stuff in game you can get special troops uh, like for instance there's like golems if you're a high enough like a uh, wizard you can summon these golems that are just insane so that might be something that we pursue in the future here. Uh, our current uh, culture is that of the West Holders, and that is of Western Skyrim, obviously. And the East Marshers are our direct competitor, basically. Uh, I will probably swear fealty to Whiterun here in just a moment. I want to see what they do. Maybe they hack. Valtheim and I can attack Helgen. Well, you know what? 
let's just go in here, swear some fealty. He will accept it with no obligations, which is nice. It's always great, because you don't want to pay taxes to this guy, you know? I'm just going to hop on through. Sweet, she becomes my lover. That's cool. That's the weef. So, click yes, yes, please. Nice. And now I am now this guy's vassal, which is sick. So that means we're now part of Whiterun. Um, Whiterun's actually pretty strong compared to some of these other nations around. I mean, obviously these are empire titles, but if they take Valheim and we kind of do our part and take part of Helgen here, it's that's pretty big. So I think our first course of action here will probably be declaring war once we get a title claim on this guy. So we'll just go ahead and start that. Let's do it in Ember Shard first. Unfortunately, we'll probably have to go county by county, which isn't ideal, but it is what it is. Let's kind of just speed through this. Uh, I don't really want to decrease my popular opinion, so I'll just pay for this and go into debt. I have it in five times speed, so it should be moving pretty quick. He's going to appoint us as steward. Okay, we will not complain about that, chief. That is 4.3 gold. I mean, that's that's pretty big for uh, us starting out here, just, just where we're at. So... I would really like to recruit some some other guests here to become my <laughs> become my knights because we are in desperate desperate straits for some uh, <laughs> some knights. But this man here in Helgen, he's got 439. We got 591. And my boy John, he is he is a good commander, man. I mean, look at that brilliant strategist, 32 marshal. I mean, this man is just rocking it. All right, so. First things first, skip through some time, and once we get this claim, we will just hop on Helgen real fast. We might petition Liege as well really quick. See what we can get. Fortify borders, resettle subjects. Eh, nothing real good right now. We'll just hold off. I don't want to deal with him possibly declining me and all that. Yes, let's go. So we got the claim. Uh, so this is another mod. I heard it adds like little tiny things that pop up every once in a while that add just costly little things, sometimes even give you a little bit too, which is really cool. So, well, it comes, it's, you gotta roll with the punches sometimes. So we'll go ahead and just attack this man for Ember Shard Mine. I don't think he's got, he doesn't have too much gold, so he can't really recruit anyone. He does have one ally. but they only have 66 military strength. So I am not worried about this war whatsoever. So let's just go ahead, hop in here, declare a war for my claims. Sick. Raise these boys up, bring it back down to four times speed. We march on Ember Shard. Oh, ye great. Don't even have enough men. All right. Um, right. Let's see if there's any mercenary companies that are cheap. I guess that's only option here. Um, well, rip the, the war chest. Send them on over so we can get these actually this claim going, get this conquer started. It's going to take ages too. We have one siege progress a day, that's not bad. Uh, our current lifestyle focus is in warfare, author authoritary focus. So hopefully after we take land, we don't have to spend hours trying to build up some authority in those areas. I think ideally for, for John's conquest, his goal is to basically conquer all of Skyrim. I think that would be ideal. I don't know how long that'll take, but we will, we will get there. All right, guys, we will get there. Once we take this stronghold here, let's just put it five times. It's another mod too that I have. Adds a little bit more flavor in it. You can sack cities, but obviously that isn't exactly great because cultural acceptance goes down and that's no bueno, as they say. So we'll just occupy the city and we will just go straight for his army. If we can take out his army while these mercenaries are still here. Be huge. Oh, he's gonna try running. Check out this war here. Come on, mercenaries, get there. There we go. This is going to obviously be a pretty decisive victory here. Alright, easy.
Easy dub. Easy dub, easy clap. Let's go ahead and take this. If we take this part, we're all but set here. Um, the good thing is we're still earning gold during war, which is always nice. Um, I'm pause this, take a look at this. Obviously the mercenaries came in clutch, but our house carls went absolutely ham. So we will not complain. Our shield thanes obviously doing their thing. Honestly, my wife should not be a knight, but here she is if she dies. Well, GG, I suppose. Speaking of that, I do need to start sit. Oh, okay, we're already lovers. Perfect. Nice, that's what matters. Gotta get them kids, you know? Don't wanna be sitting here with no air when you get assassinated. We are immortal, so like, you know, inheritance isn't super important. Our uh, really most important thing is just preventing uh, really bad like, intrigue. You gotta prevent that as much as possible. Because assassinations, they really suck. So what we've got going on here is we got some skill perks. As you can see, I started my character out as 40, which is kind of the, the cheeky way of getting easy skill points as an immortal, because you do get minus 90% as, as an immortal to your life. Uh, lifestyle experience so starting at a higher age actually gives you skill points so it saves you a bunch of time having to sit through just waiting to get your skill points so what we're gonna do here is i think we're probably just gonna keep skirting down to overseer overseer will be nice when we start just conquering like crazy uh so what we'll do is also obviously you know soldiers of lesser fortune could come in handy later on so we'll just go ahead and speed run to that, because we could have used that. We had to buy those expensive ass mercenaries, but here we go. Let's put this on five times because all his armies are dead. Sick, that's a war, and that's a dub. Let's get it. Alright, so let's just go ahead and take our marshal, put him on money control. And I think we really need to get some more courtiers here. Really bad. I could ask a head of faith for gold, but it's really not a thing. You know, 30 gold, I'll take it for right now. I am in desperate need of some dinero. So, also, guys, if there's anything that you guys want to see on the channel, just put it down in the comments. I love playing any, pretty much anything role playing game. I've played Call of Duty, I've played Pathfinder Wrath of the Righteous, I do play tabletop RPGs too, if that's some content you guys want to see. So pretty much anything role-playing game, I am all for. Uh, so just just let me know. What should we do here? Fellow vassal opinion. That, that could be good, actually. We get our vassals up because so, maybe we'll claim our, our Legis throne sometime soon. I think this man our armies here. Uh, as we can see, so I start I chose the start year 440. Uh, and as we can see, a Terebus. Uh, conquered potentate so that's expected usually I found that he wins most of the times especially in this newer version of Elder Kings uh, let's just let's get these deserters dude man I'm a dragonborn I'm just sending it we got that that BDE as they say um, so he is huge even though he only has 4600 men holds Obviously, the White Gold Tower is overpowered in this. I also have another mod that adds more unique buildings. I don't know if this is actually in base CK or uh, base Elder Kings, uh, but this building is insane when you upgrade it to level two. It gives you a whole nother regiment of men of arms and then increases their size of all of them by two, which is huge. And there's three of those little cities around. There's one there with the Imperial Bridge Gate Imperial Bridge Gate and Imperial Bridge Gate. And these things are dirty, especially if you combine it with Bastion when you upgrade it. Like, whew. You can get some pretty nasty combos. Basically, if you hold the center, like the Heartlands, you can take anywhere in the game. But, you know, we're not doing that. We are starting out here, humble beginnings <laughs> here in Riverwood. Uh, just conquering Helgen. Part of Whiterun, you know. Just. Just taking what we do. So the, what's this going on? We got overworked soldiers. That's not great. But for five years, you know, whatever. I will take it. 
uh, 13 stress. We get another uh, martial lifestyle perk. Uh, so Tolan. Ah, he's, uh, he's pretty garbage. Uh, I guess I could just run this here. 80% that we'll get it. I mean, or 88. Let's, we'll just run that. Let's do that. That's the best choice, I think. Hey, let's go. That's another lifestyle perk. Go ahead and get our boy fabricating a claim on Helgen. Because we don't want Falkreath just coming in and taking them because it's very possible. So we want to kind of cut them off from just swooping through Helgen. If possible, of course. We're going to take Soldiers of Lesser Fortune here as well. Just to prevent us from, you know, that future reference of uh, <laughs> not being able to afford men in arms. So... company expiring oh yeah we don't want to do this definitely do not want to do that that's just converting to vermina and basically we can just get imprisoned and killed for that we don't want that obviously um, oof troubled knights that's painful 100% stress gain ouch um, I have to go on a pilgrimage to get rid of that bruh that's pain. How much is the pilgrimage going to cost me right now? Oh, 50 gold, I suppose. We got to do it. Can't have that much. Yeah, we'll just go to White Run, I suppose, just to make it quick and easy. 50 gold. Get that pilgrim trait. Yeah, we'll just drive him away, dude. We're insane. Yeah. A little 250 piety. I guess we didn't get the pilgrim trait. That's all right. I guess we gotta go on a longer pilgrim. Oh, let's see what we can do for petition liege. Oh yeah, we could send bailiffs. That could be big. Just to get that county under control, dude. Control level by plus ten. Royal bailiffs, nice. Get some renown there. That's that's big. So our our dynasty is called Star Shield. It was just one of those random generated ones that I thought was kind of cool. So we'll just go with it. Keep this time rolling. Ooh, all right. Ah, they convert me to Marshall, which is okay. It's just not as good as Steward for what we need right now. That hurts. Okay. I think what we're going to do is create some Bowmen. Because I do have plus 30% from Hit and Run, which is really good. So I'll just go ahead and create some Bowmen here. Kind of help with our army. Just in case, you know, if... Valkyrie does decide to attack, or, you know, going from there. Hopefully we don't get just conquered by Eastern or Western Skyrim anytime soon. Western Skyrim is actually really weak, I found in most of my playthroughs. Eastern Skyrim is more successful. So, and the Reach, it's still independent. It's usually surprising. Usually they're taken by now. But we'll go ahead and keep zooming along here. Uh, we'll take... We'll take the gold. We need the gold really bad. Yep, about to go in some more debt. We'll uh, we'll do it. Whatever. Wait to get out of debt. Yeah, if you guys haven't played Elder Kings yet, man, you gotta get on this. If you own CK, play this. It is amazing. The mod authors did a great job on it. I mean, really, they did. So, I think what we're gonna do here is get control territory defender advantage just so we can get to absolute control and overseer because when we're going to be conquering man it's going to get it's going to get pretty hectic and crazy um also we probably will start going on stewardship after this see we only get 10 per month which is pretty brutal um, or we could hop honestly right into casting which if you guys don't know master conjuration is really good uh just being able to summon 500 men of Daedric heavy armored soldiers. Very good. Obviously, we can't afford that with our our poor Magicka skills here at 19 Magicka. Uh, or Arcane, sorry. But it is very good. Also, the restoration is great. You never want to get Tickle Bridge and not be able to cure it. Let's just say that much. Uh, <laughs> so, honestly, yeah, this... This Ember Shard Mine is actually a really good place. 
Uh, Riverwood's all right. I just need to get more income out of it, which unfortunately we can't. There isn't much buildings to do that. Forestry would probably be the move. So we'll go ahead and just keep skipping through some time. All right, so basically two empires didn't go anywhere and they're dividing land. But, you know, it is what it is. Western Skyrim is definitely weaker than Eastern, but that's okay, you know? It's more, uh, more goodies for us to take. So we'll go ahead and take Helgen here once I'm out of debt. We have 866 men. Perhaps we should increase one of these guys again by one before we go to war. Oh, but we should get more courtiers first, just so I can get that, uh... uh yeah, whatever. Give me that 75 prestige. Just to get a steward. Because, like, that's... This is a very good man. 60 gold, though? Dang, dude. So expensive, man. Oh, one. All right, what's our marshal? Thirteen. Six stewardship, I guess. Okay. This guy is. All right, all right. As you can see, my legion's court is terrible, man. Terrible spy master. All right. Let's go ahead and keep this rolling. Yeah, let's just carry on. We didn't. We're not gonna bother that peasant who's praying on the side of the road. If you guys want me to start reading like these dialogue options that you've never seen before, feel free to put it down in the comments. I can definitely start reading some of these off. Uh, it's just that some of these, like, if you guys have played Elder Kings two in the past, like these are obviously like events that happen every playthrough, unless you you know influence them pretty much. Uh, but like this right here, basically, Cyrodiil just split apart into a million little pieces. And that man has inherited the Imperial Isles. Which, if you play as, like, Fort Legion, which is one of my favorite starts playing as Fort Legion, uh, you can literally just conquer all of this, take this, those bridge cities, hang on for, like, 20 years, and just conquer all of Cyrodiil, like, in a blink of an eye. Uh, one of my favorite things to do, too, and just CK in general, is playing 100 stat man. Like, that is one of the funnest things in the game. So, but for, for an actual series, I think you guys will enjoy this more where I'm not just basically an immortal. Well, I, I am immortal, but like a god at everything, you know? Like, my man is definitely not good at, at intrigue, you know, like going to actual start murder schemes and stuff. Because he does have honest, uh, which is one of the virtues of the religion here. Which I did take because I did want to get a lot of piety. Um, there's a lot of units you can make in here for piety, which is really good. Like those golems I was telling you guys about in the start of the video, they're piety. Uh, if you become a vampire, you can get a swarm of bats, which is really cool. So. Oh, please be good. Oh, yes, we will take you in a heartbeat. Please join our court. Thank you. Just put you as. Uh, our steward has more that, uh, and we'll put this guy as, yeah, I guess. Probably also start promoting culture as well. Some of these areas down here, it's not super important for this playthrough since we're not really high intelligence, but it's an option for the future. Marshall lifestyle perk. Uh, yeah, you know, we'll take that. An extra fort level, you can't complain. Uh, this one's really good too. Army gold maintenance. That'd be huge. Save us some money each month. I think what we are going to do though. And all the stress. Jeez. All right, let's just, let's just take the ambient paranoid one. 13 stress isn't the end of the world. I do, I did notice that I do have really high illusion. I can cause calm on myself to just get rid of stress. It is the most amazing thing in the game. Honestly, other than like transmute where you can just give yourself gold, that's pretty top tier. 
this guy at war with? Oh, geez, he's at war with Falkreath. What do they want? Um, they're going for the Land of Helgen, so what we're going to do is we're going to declare war really quick. Try to hop on that as soon as possible. I'll just wait right there, actually. All right, we're going to run in. Take Helgen, come on. Giant mud crown, what the hell is that? Oh, to take it, let's just go kill his army really fast. And ascension. Oof, we don't want that. Uh, yeah, we'll take that. That's fine. Mm. Tales of a holy person. Uh, yeah, sure. All right, sick. So we actually beat Falkyrie to taking that. That's huge. Um, oh, except we're at war with them, I think. Yeah, we are. It's not great. That's a pain. Okay. Uh, we will surf that later. All right, war with help. Yeah, okay. It says I will win, most likely. Uh, but what I could do is just honestly hire some mercenaries. Oh, shoot, they're already hired. Uh, yeah, we'll go with these guys. Just because we do need men. Did I get duped? Oh, I suppose. Oh, shoot. I guess I didn't have to do that. The war just ended. Okay. Well, here we are. Um. <laughs> Let's go and petition leave and see what we can get. Sent Bailiff, so yeah, we'll go and do that again. Oh, that man is in the nude. All right. He's embracing that lifestyle, I see. Okay. All right, let's go ahead and just get some more authority built. Let's fabricate another claim on the rest of here. Obviously, the ideal thing is we're going to usurp this just to get a duchy title. Currently, we are at max holdings, but if you get a duchy title, I think that goes up by one. So we'll be at five. Another thing you guys might notice is that my stewardship is 23. I only have four realms. That is because there's a mod in here. Basically rebalances it, because if you have a lot of holdings in Elder Kings 2, it can get, get kind of overpowered and too easy. So basically every 10 points of... Uh, I need to assign her. Every 10 points of stewardship gives you another another realm. One another domain. One away. One away. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. You will hold tight. If you guys are curious, I think I spent right around probably like a thousand points in character creation. Just because I find it a little more enjoyable if you're not just a basic B, you know? Hey, that's another diplomacy challenge that we can get just for one easy lifestyle perk. Heck yeah, dude. Um, now let's get that lifestyle perk, man. Minus 50% gold mate army maintenance. Absolutely, 3.4 gold a month. That's pretty good. Keep this rolling. Is going on mound I also have another thing too I know I keep telling you guys about all these mods that I got running uh, oh my gosh trying to a legendary warrior that's crazy levy size garrison size holding tax like dang I like obviously shrine to a holy warrior is the best is your domain. Dude, that's freaking great. Let's, uh... Dude, Legendary Warrior, dude. Alright, let's see. Uh, there's a decision it said it added. That allows me to go visit...
also have another mod too uh, that allows me to choose like a bunch of all the different types of artifacts you can get. Usually you can only get wall hangings for some reason in Elder Kings. I have a mod that unlocks that. Basically, I can just do it on whatever I want. Oh, homie, you're just sitting on my town here. All right, whatever. That's fine. I haven't... I've actually played more Elder Kings than I have... Uh, Crusader Kings, I mean, in just the sense of just the base, base game. So. Alright guys, so since last time we were back here, I am going to usurp the title of Helgen. So I can finally become a Duke. With that, we are now Helger. <laughs> Uh, so what we're gonna do is we're just I have a claim on this guy's last piece of land uh, So I might as well just take it. I have Conquer County now as well Which takes to, which takes faith, which is really cool um, So we will we'll take that in just a moment, but while you guys were gone. I got overseer um, Just real quick had like two two perk points got absolute control, which is always great um, I'm gonna take stalwart leader because I do want to lead almost all of my armies by myself just because it is really big. And then obviously Knight Effectiveness I'm gonna take next. Very, very good. Honestly, I kinda wanna max out this entire tree again, or this tree as well, just because it does give me a lot. Like, prestige per month is always great. So we will go ahead and declare war for Orphan Rock. I'll probably get rid of it. Um, I might honestly provoke this guy's title. I don't know. Just because like, obviously this, gives a lot of money um I mean, hill farms are also really good hill forts as well so all right all right all right what we're gonna do i think our army's good enough for right now obviously My wife really shouldn't be in here, wherever she's at. Or bid. I don't really want her dying. We did just uh, marry off one of our, our steward. Uh, and he did marry this lady who has 24 prowess. So absolutely, thank you. Um, she's overall pretty good. Uh, but you gotta love that prowess, man. All right, let's just go ahead and rock this man's world. Let's put another banner down there. And let's rock this man into the next era. I will do my clan. Ah, no, let's do a piety. Let's do Conquer County. This goes, uh... Uh, yeah, he was my rival. He's now my nemesis. Whatever. If I capture him, I'm just gonna kill him, so... I'm gonna get wrecked. Easy dub. Check some of these stats here. Levies went ham, House Carl's obviously went ham. So, Bellman, they went pretty good. So this man literally doesn't have any men at arms. So, oh, she got wounded? Dang, that's painful. All right, let's go ahead and take this. Cool. Sick. Easy enforced demands. Awesome. Sick. We'll dealio. We'll go ahead and get that going. I might start promoting culture down here too. Like for instance, this is reach folk. Like, bruh. Let's, let's not. Let's not. Let's not be reach folk. You know. Let's have another another mod. <laughs> That allows me to increase edicts. Basically, what edicts are, they have all these special abilities here, um, like levy size, popular opinion. Uh, you can increase this to get all these different benefits. Uh, really, you don't want to change them too much uh, for right now at the start. Once you start getting really big, you can start up and everything when you start earning more than four gold a month. Uh, so, I can't even use this orphan rock yet, just because it's still a tribal holding, which kind of sucks. 
So we will just hold tight. Also, while you guys, uh, during the intermission here, Western Skyrim is attacking Falkreath, and they were up 30% and now, or up 70%, now they're down 30. That's crazy. But, yeah, that's, that's wild that they're not winning this war. But I guess these guys are... Oh, man, why does he only have 557 men? Man, get good. Get good, kid. All right, that's all I have to say. Shoot, we could go in there and take him out. We're to the point now that we kind of got to start looking in. Start taking out, like, Hunting Brew. Take out some of these smaller ones here. Uh, also, one of the unique buildings here is the Lunar Forge, which is really cool. Uh, but it, it does have to be considered a holy site, which I'm not sure what religion is considered. Obviously, it's not our religion, so it doesn't matter. I'm just going to give that away anyways. Uh, so, yeah. It's my first time actually playing in, like, Skyrim, like, on the continent. I've played on Solstheim a lot. Solstheim is a really fun start. Because you can really just take over the entire uh, island and just keep all your stuff down here. And there's a really crazy mine that you can make. Um, it's an obsidian mine. And that stuff is just crazy. It gives you like five gold a month before any like modifiers, which is just dirty. Just straight dirty, man. But I should just probably start looking internally. Start building up a little bit. Probably change my focus from authority to... Stewardship, just because stewardship is really good, and architect is a very strong ability. Like, look at those, look at those, those benefits, man. It's so big. So this is probably what we'll go into next, and then after that, we'll probably hit some magical arts up, just because they're fun. You gotta love hitting people with a, uh, hitting people with some big spells, you know. Uh, yeah, dude. So we took this guy as our right hand man. We'll uh, let him. We'll let him be our best friend. That's cool. Our friend. Where's this man at. So he is still currently with us. I did marry him off to uh, the princess of Western Skyrim. Somehow that worked. I'm surprised it did. Honestly, we're just a lowly count, and this man is literally just a, a knight. So, well, you know, hey, we'll take what we can get, and we're not gonna throw a fit about it. That's for darn sure. Uh, so yeah, we'll just go ahead and sit on this. Honestly, this. This castle's really doing nothing for us. If I could somehow build... I guess quarries are good. Quarries are pretty good. But this is our capital, and it gives us more. So we'll just go here. And we'll do forestry, because that's probably the best thing that we can do right now. Hit that up. Also, guys, if there's any recommendations you want to make in the comment section, please do, like... My mic's too loud, whatever like that. If the game's too quiet, too loud, let me know. I know sometimes it's it's really hard to say like what actually is too loud and what's too quiet because you know, everybody listens on different headphones and different phones and stuff like that, you know. So just let me know what works for you guys. And if you guys want to see more content, feel free to leave a like, leave a message, uh, leave a comment, I mean. You guys want me to set up any like social media so you guys can reach out directly? Let me know. I'd be happy to. Uh. Oh, we're not gonna. We're not gonna get a freaking claim for that. Or uh. Hook. I refuse to give this man a free hook. He's kind of being a uh, jerk, honestly. Being kind of rude, even though our, our opinions of each other honestly is really high. I requested um, bailiffs, and he kept trying to get a hook from me. And I'm like, man, like, just pat my back, I'll pat yours. I won't rise up. I'm like, come on. Man, I'm still paying liege taxes. I thought I had zero. Man, what the heck? Oh, I guess it's just a base rate. My bad. Eventually, I would like to get that, but I mean, at this point, I am like his best vassal, so I'll be on his council for ever, probably until he dies and then the next guy comes along. I am like, honestly, 
almost stronger than I mean not almost I'm pretty still a ways off but like we're getting pretty strong over here sitting idly by waiting for our time to come start building up our our men at arms here keep growing man Ooh, I can get summon Daedra also I should totally should have done this beginning of the game but guys summon Daedra is really good gives you plus five arcane plus five prowess like plus 10 natural dread like come on man that's really good doesn't stack with summon familiar unfortunately but having plus five prowess and plus five arcana is so good because your arcana score is equal to how much magicka you have times 10. so if we have 24 magicka obviously we have 240 uh, magicka total so really good really cool so we'll not complain about that one uh we'll just go ahead and keep idling through here she have a claim. I think she does have a claim on, yeah. She has a claim on the entirety of Western Skyrim, which is pretty biggest. So. I do need 500 gold, though, to feudalize this, which is going to be painful. Uh. <laughs> oh, somebody's trying to murder her. Alright, that's cool. Hopefully she doesn't die, because, you know, I could push her claims. But. Oh, we'll just take that. Tell me I should hire a court antiquator. Sure, let's do it. Um, let's do you. Maybe I can get a court. Oh. Court mage is always great. But I don't think I can get him until I have a. Oh, no one meets the requirements. So you can actually get a court mage who will cast spells for you, which is always great. This is another thing too here. Uh, there's like a natural disasters mod on here too as well. I think it's Unbound is the mod's name. Uh, and it basically, it's like all this stuff here that costs you money, gives you piety, all that fun stuff. We're gonna do this because we're good guys. Dragonborn too nice, honestly. Yeah, sure we'll stop being rivals. Whatever happened to the war here? I think Western Skyrim lost, but they are fighting someone else. Wow, this little count just thought they should, they could take on, okay. You know, I'm not gonna judge. All right, guys, I'm not gonna judge, you know? Everybody's gotta learn. Everybody's gotta learn. Also, if you guys want me to like, put my mod list on Steam or something, just let me know. Uh, so, I might do that, honestly. Because it is, it is nice having a mod pack that you can just like hop onto. Just be able to like click, oh, subscribe to all, and then change the load order real quick and makes it easy. So. Uh, no, we're not going to do that. Let's get our boy here, though. Get the claim. Because ideally, we do want to start working our way up, honestly, into Whiterun. Because Whiterun has some good stuff, dude. Darn good. Uh, the Guardian, the Valiant. Let's do the Valiant, dude. That sounds sick. John the Valiant, Star Shield. That sounds dope. I think I also have another mod here that allows you to get multiple nicknames that you can just like switch between. It's really cool. So, 75 gold, man. You're gonna make me broke. figure ahead. Uh, let's just do that as well. Ooh, Scald is really good. That's so good. It's just Poet. Uh, I In Elder Kings, you can have, like, more things renamed, and this is one of those traits that gets renamed, which, this is really good. This is a really good ability. Go 
go ahead and just take that. Ooh, that's not bad. Prestige, we'll take more prestige per month, dude. Any day of the freaking week. Honestly, we're struggling. As you guys can see, uh, immortality is, is hitting us hard here. Um, but Scald, definitely coming through. West Holder coming through. Our diplomacy's pretty good. Uh, so, I mean, we're getting there, but it's just not great. Obviously, Follower of Alduin is great because he gives you 0.5. Gotta love them fixed numbers. Gotta love them fixed numbers. Let's go ahead and sign this guy. Or that lady, sorry. Um, let's keep building up our army here. And our house Carl's up one more size. Size 3, because they are really good. Like, look at that, dude. 47 damage, like, man. So good, so good. Once we get some special traits, we should be able to start getting, like, some really cool units. Uh, also, if you, like, spread into, like, Morrowind, uh, you can get some special units there. Spread down south into, uh, Cyrodiil. You get some cool stuff there. Let's just kind of check out the map, see what's popping. What's going on in Alinor right now? Oh, yeah, yeah. So, there's also just raids that happen. Oh, Yokuda's actually being conquered by someone. That's surprising. That never happens. All right, we'll take it. That's cool. What's that pink? What the heck? That's different. I have never actually seen that come up before. Other oh, pirates. Interesting. Okay. Balfiera is getting destroyed. Balfiera is really cool, though. The Adamantine Tower. So cool, so cool. I love, I love the maps on this. It's just so cool. I say cool a lot, guys. It just, I'm really impressed by this. This game is, is impressive. So. I think we'll probably continue on for just a few more minutes here and then probably call it an episode and continue next time. Hopefully next time we can kind of start pushing into uh, pushing into actual white run here. I think before we end it though, I'm going to take Hunting Brew. Just because, might as well, right? I mean, free real estate, as they say. Just march straight into that thing. Easy dub. Don't even have to occupy the city. That is amazing. Also, I have another mod, too. Uh, if I was a necromancer, I could just basically make this guy my undead thrall, and it would be amazing. So. Gotta love it. Disband all. I know, but my domain limit. I'm gonna give away this just because I literally can't use it. So, and for some reason, I haven't had a darn kit. I just noticed that. Like, dude, it's been it's been 15 years since we 25 years since we started. Bruh, where's my kid? I guess it's time to divorce here. <laughs> um. I need, I need some kids, man. Holy cow. Well, 34 is so old, though, too. Let's hit up this lady. Uh, well, maybe we go by inheritable trades here. She's not bad. She's not bad either, but she's old. I could do this and try to get some, like, mage children. This might not be a bad move. Let's go this way. Let's go this way. Also, Dragonborn is 100% congenial, which is kind of kind of neat. I don't know how much that follows the lore or not, but I think it does. Yeah, if this kid gets all those traits, they're going to be freaking set. That's all I got to say. Oh, go ahead. Oh, chance of children, none. What the heck? Oh, I'm infertile. Oh. What? Since when, Chief? When your legs don't work like they used to before, dude. I guess I'll just... 
Man, that sucks. Okay. Um. Ouch. Because I'm immortal. It might be because I'm immortal. Minus 60%. What else gives me minus fertility? Guys, if you know the answer to this, please leave it in the comments because what the heck? I've actually never experienced this before. That's, uh, that's interesting. How am I infertile? Is there a decision I'm like celibate or something? Doesn't look like it. Man, that blows. Okay, well, we'll just go ahead and. Get over his eyes, which is my ex-wife. We'll just get with her because she has higher stewardship. Whatever. Um, we'll just hop on that real quick. Make her managed domain. That's fine. She should give me enough for another domain, which I guess I already have. Yeah, plus three from stewardship. Yeah, all right. Whale hail. All right. I'm going to give away a title to my children if I had some. Um, so let's just go ahead and grant her a title, I suppose. Let's just give her Orphan Rock. It's terrible. So. We'll go ahead and uh, get my Marshal on control. And I think that's where we're going to call it an episode, guys. Thanks for uh, tuning on in. I'm hoping to upload it probably at least once a week. I do do full-time school as well as work. Um, so this is kind of like my, my hobby and my pastime. And I really hope that we can kind of build some camaraderie here and build a community that we're all kind of thankful for and help contribute to. So like I said, if you guys have any questions, comments, concerns, or recommendations, please leave them in the comments below. And if you guys want me to turn on face cam for next episode, feel free to put that on there too. But, uh, I want to end this video, go edit it, and upload it to YouTube for our first video, man. Hope you all take care. Have a good one. Peace.